What is this phone? What is this? <laughs> Hello and welcome to This Is. Here's a bunch of phones that were better than the iPhone. Number one, we have the Galaxy Round. So, we're doing this thing like we did in the last video where we have to argue which phones are better than the iPhone, except we don't know which phones that we've been given by Kinsey. Regardless, we all know that the Galaxy Round was bad and Matt is wrong. It curved in a way that people's faces Wait, didn't- are you trying to tell me that I have a curved face right now? Okay, actually, I have a curved face. Yeah. yeah. You're right, yeah. I don't know. This thing was basically a Note 3, but without the stylus, which is what made the Note cool. This is dumb. I can't argue this one. I like how we keep saying we need to argue that these are better, and nah, then all nah, of them are like, this is dumb. You need you need more salesmanship. Sell me on this next one. Okay, so mm, the LG Flex is quite possibly the most innovative phone that was ever designed. You know why your Galaxy Round was folded the wrong direction? This is folded the correct direction, which is the Flippy Boy direction. Now, there are a bunch of other things, including the battery was actually very revolutionary because it actually had a bunch of rigids in it, so that the battery itself would actually curve with the phone. A lot of very cutting edge technology from Lucky Gold Star. Wait, L Lucky, Lucky Gold, Star. Gold Star? Yeah, okay. they started as a Korean like electronics like repair company or something and they expand into the conglomerate that they are today. You know what was a Lucky Gold Star? This next phone. LG Prada. Yo, you actually you know got what? it. All right, all right. So this was an actual collab with Prada. In 2006, this was pretty expensive like all Prada things are. Back before smartphones, there was a lot of companies that were doing like boutique mm -hmm. and like jewelry. Nokia and, like, used to do Nokia a lot. Nokia had yeah. like, they wanted their phones to be like a fashion statement. Yeah. And so the Prada phone was basically that. It won like fashion awards, but as far as like a cell phone goes, it was really expensive and there was like nothing that went for Look, it for uh, being a smartphone. $777 for a Prada phone? Seems like a bargain. I honestly think it's probably about $1,000 too cheap and people clearly <laughs> missed the boat. My favorite part about this is people thought that Apple stole the idea of the smartphone. They did. From, from the LG Prada. Matt, you might try to sell me on some high-end luxury goods that I clearly don't need, but you know what was actually better than the iPhone? The no phone. <laughs> So here's the thing, right? Cell phone addiction is real, friends. Matt was just telling me in the car not but 30 minutes ago that he has phantom vibrations. He's always hearing, you know, the, the vibration of his phones. You know what would get rid of that? I was saying that was like a cry for help. <laughs> and now you're using it for clicks? I would never do something like that. So here's the thing. The no phone was exactly what it said on the 10. A $12 Kickstarter all the way back in 2014. Successfully funded twice, but it is literally just a plastic slap. Now, this might seem ridiculous, and it is. But I would argue that if you're not going to use an iPhone, the only alternative is a no phone because uh, let's be real, you could be productively spending time with your seven-year-old stepson and enjoying the little bit of great relationship that you have left because you've spent all your time on TikTok and you're not doing that right now. Instead, you're watching this is video and you're subscribing to the channel and you're liking the video and you're leaving a ring -a ling on the dingling bell to let the algorithm know. And none of that would be necessary if you're just using the no phone. I guarantee there's going to be at least one comment of someone like, I would rather have the no phone than anything Apple. That's probably the person in our analytics who's watching this video on a Nintendo DSi. Correct. That we have those people. But you know what we don't have? The Yada Phone 2. Why do I get all the bad ones? In 2015, the Yada Phone 2 was the second model of e-ink display phones. So basically people realized that e-ink is not a good <laughs> display for a phone. It had two screens, one on the front, one on the back. So basically you could turn off the regular front facing screen and just use the e-ink screen and get like days of battery life. Even with the e-ink the e display, the battery life wasn't all that amazing. This seems like an interesting idea, but clearly, clearly <laughs> it's inferior to the iPhone. You know what was better? The not only the iPhone, but every other piece what? of technology that we've ever seen, the HTC Dream, AKA the T-Mobile G1. This is one that I don't have to actually make up a bunch of stuff on the spot for. This was the first commercially available Android phone and it had a lot going for it, including a beautiful design that truly has stood the test of time. It also, of course, as the beginning of Android, had all of the features you expect, like a screen and buttons. What more could you ask for? In fact, this was so popular that for many years, modders and developers would keep this thing running. They got all the way up to Android 4.1 in 2012, which would be like installing Windows 8 on a Game Boy. Look here, you know what's the actually superior phone to the iPhone? We have the HTC One M7 was released in 2013, and this is one of the best phones that's ever been made, ever. We got a lot of comments in the last video where I said that not too many phones have front-facing stereo speakers. There are plenty of phones that have stereo speakers. There are plenty of phones that have front-facing speakers. There are very few phones that have 
front facing stereo speakers and I will die on this hill. This was an all aluminum body. Metal phones were just, oh, this is so much better than the cheap plastic feeling ones yep. from the Samsung. It had the Beats audio, front Boom, facing zone. stereo speakers. Boom, Can I say that the HTC One M7 was my daily phone? Is still one of my favorite Android phones of all time. The gold version of this made me feel things. It's been a long time and we're all very proud of you. You know what was even better than not only the iPhone, not only the Samsung Galaxy, not only even the Z Flip, dare I say, the Nokia N9. So I have no idea what this phone okay, is. Okay, so here's the thing. So this is a Linux-based operating system that Nokia developed that only landed on this one device and they gave up on it because Windows was a thing. It had this cool kind of plastic design. The bezels on it are impressive for 2011. It was, quote, the most significant Nokia since the N95. Shout out to our last episode of Phones That Are Better Than The iPhone. I will say that the design language looks an awful lot like Android. So here's the thing, Migo literally, they helped to develop it. It launched on this phone, but then everyone really realized that the writing was on the wall before it even came out and the phone didn't really go anywhere. But honestly, the N9, better than Android, better than the iPhone, better than your mom's cordless phone that has a three pound battery and lets you talk to Becky for only 10 minutes at a time Dude, before Becky you run out of long distance. Becky is the worst, but you know what wasn't the worst? The HTC HD2 released in 2009. It was a Windows Mobile 6.5 and it was originally supposed to be Windows Phone 7. However, they just said, no, we're not gonna continue it. But the modding community stepped up. All these modders put pretty much every OS under the sun on this thing. We had Windows Phone 8, Firefox OS, Android 7, 7.1. We had a PS1 emulator on this. This was the swan song of Windows Mobile 6.5. Windows Mobile 6.5 was ancient. Like it was hardly even designed for touchscreens. And the fact that they put it on such a relatively modern piece of hardware was super impressive. But this phone really wasn't great out of the box. It really was great because of the modding community and what they all did. But you know what was great? Straight out of the box, no modifications necessary. What's that? The Sidekick LX2009. Now you may not remember the days of the Sidekick, but this was an incredibly revolutionary series of phones. It also was the last of the sidekicks to have this swivel screen. Matt, do you remember the swivel screen? Yeah, I had a sidekick. I had one of these because for a glorious like summer, basically phones either had like a smartphone plan or they had a texting plan. And for like a few months, carriers didn't know what to do with it. Yep. So you could get one of these sidekicks without any type of cell service and it would still be able to do data. So you could get AIM Ooh. and you could text people with AIM, rest Ooh. in peace. For free. I missed the sidekick more than I missed most of my relatives. Well, it was but, loaded with everything you needed, including Twitter, yeah. Facebook, and MySpace. My top eight. <laughs> you know what an honor it was to be in Matt Ancini's top eight? All 12 of my friends fought over that. Like, <laughs> look. But now I got to argue that this next one is the best out of all of them, and that is the... Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> The Sidekick 4G. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is probably the worst of the Sidekicks. It was the return to cool teen branding. It was basically just an Android phone that they yeah. slapped Sidekick badging on. They tried to skin it a little bit to be like a Sidekick. Yeah. This wasn't a real Sidekick. You know what was a real Sidekick? A good companion for your life, Matt. It was the Yahoo <laughs> ZTE Blade. I actually have had the distinct privilege and honor of trying this phone we, in person. We tested it on the This Is episode that you can see right you here. You keep forgetting it's on my side, not your side. It so, doesn't matter when we go to my single shot. Okay, so. well, speaking of single shots, Matt Ancini, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the ZTE Blade is a purple beauty. It is incredibly attractive with the carbon fiber-esque striped finish. This thing was 50 bucks with the $40 a month contract. We tested this thing out and we just we determined that $50 was about $45 too expensive nope. for this thing. We couldn't even activate it. To actually activate it, you have to go, Yahoo! And then it would work, but you just didn't do that. But you know what we were able to activate? What is this phone? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Wait! Segas! The Segas V2. So not only is there one of these things, there's two of these pieces of shit. There are not. This is the only one? <laughs> this was supposed to be a Galaxy Note killer. So the CEO embezzled around $10 million from investor and was charged with security fraud. <laughs> <laughs>
So, okay, so this is just a giant scam. No, but it had a 2.5 gigahertz processor, Matt. Your phone. Two micro SD card slots. But Does your phone have a micro SD card slot? It sure don't. But you know what does have a micro SD card slot? The ROG Phone 2, which I think actually does have I a I think that actually does SD. have a card. So, uh, here's the thing this one's an easy one. I don't even have to spin a, a, a tall tale. You know the gaming phones are important. You know the gaming phones are all the rage when it comes to gaming on your phone. But this had a ton of stuff going for it. 120 hertz display. Air triggers, which were actual triggers that were uh, passive on the top. A excellent cooling fan attachment right out of the box. It was big. It was chunky. Are you saying big and chunky things are great? You know what? I take that back. The ROG phone was a failure and it was uh, no good. It was big and um, heavy, just like me. But you know it wasn't big and heavy, just like me. <laughs> you're setting yourself up for these segues. I'm just saying, like, you're walking into yeah, these. Yeah, because when, when they work, they're great, but then most of the time they just don't work. My intuition failed me on this one. <laughs> so, released in 2012, this was more of a Galaxy Note killer than an iPhone killer. It had a 4x3 aspect ratio, which is kind of weird. It was LG in their decades-long quest of being weird, unique, and not particularly better. And we all know that all LG phones have gone on to become the best phones that are currently on the market. Oh, my favorite phones are LGs, especially the 2022 the slate. The 2022 Ooh. LG models Ooh. are really, really uh, kicking out there. Well, you know what's even better than 2022 LG phones? Yeah. It's the Galaxy <laughs> S4 Zoom. All right. So I got I to gotta put on my oversized shirt. <laughs> get in front of a green screen to talk about this one. Essentially, this was merging the best parts of a smartphone with a real point and shoot camera. Imagine, Matt, in the palm of your hand, in the pocket of your jeans, a full-fledged point and shoot camera with a slightly less mediocre lens and camera system than your already existing smartphone. This thing was huge, it was unwieldy, it had a 10 times zoom, and on top of that, it Looked yeah. like a camera, but it had. I don't care about sensing. any of that. I don't. Who cares about this phone? What we want to know is your story behind this phone. I was at a Samsung event, and to be fair, this is the Galaxy camera, and they had a beautiful green screen setup. And I happened to be wearing a slightly three sized, oversized dress shirt because I was oversized trying to be professional. and mm -hmm. like pearlescent silver. You know how when I first started mm -hmm. here, and I was like really respectful to you, and that lasted five. You minutes. showed me that video. And then that was over. And it was all <laughs> downhill from there. Look, we all have our awkward early 20s phase, right? You were like 12 in that. Yeah, At least okay. you'd look 12. I do math. I mean, you only look 15 now, but... But you know what doesn't look 15? Because it's aged so gracefully. We have... No, that's it. We're done. <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> so like, subscribe, follow us on all the different platforms, and we'll catch you in the next one.